Hello friends, this is a review of 6 mega amazing yachts that you should definitely see and even better share with your friends. These will be yacht concepts, a super yacht that is almost invisible on the water, a yacht for drones and many more amazing things. So, let's begin. The first super yacht is called, Pegasus, Mirror Glass Super Yacht. A way for the super rich to travel in secrecy. Designer shares concept for, invisible, 290 feet super yacht made out of mirrored glass to reflect the sky and sea. It has an idea that would allow the super rich to travel the world in utmost secrecy. This luxury super yacht, which would be made entirely of mirrored glass to reflect the sea and sky, has been unveiled as a concept by designer Joseph Focus. He said the proposed 290 feet, 88 meters, vessel, dubbed Pegasus, would be the world's first 3D printed vessel and invisible both in design and in her environmental impact. The boat, with inbuilt solar panels, would be able to reflect the sky, clouds and the surrounding environment. Its reflective solar wings, hidden in the glass of the superstructure, would also be able to provide solar electric power to run, working alongside a hydrogen hybrid source, Focus said. The energy from the solar power in turn is used to power electrolyzers extracting hydrogen from seawater. Fuel cells then convert hydrogen to electricity stored in Li-ion batteries for powering azimuth pods, a type of engine, and all operating and hotel systems. The price for the superyacht has not been revealed but undoubtedly will be aimed at the extreme wealthy. Pegasus is currently being prepared to show interested shipyards and could be in production by 2030. There is a multi-level, tree of life, hydroponic garden which provides fresh food and air purification on board. On the top floor the concept features a master suite, with a large private terrace, which only the boat's owner would be able to access. Number 2. G-Quest Mega Yacht, Get Ready to Explore the $1 Billion Super Yacht. Super yacht concepts might seem like a pointless exercise of imagination, but they do serve a point, that of pushing the envelope in naval design and driving innovation. Whether they propose larger volumes or more luxurious features, more gear and enhanced capabilities, or greener fuels and propulsion, these concepts can test the proverbial waters of the industry and introduce new ideas to revolutionize it. California-based yacht designer Steve Kozloff has been putting in overtime on this account, delivering several concepts that go all out there in certain respects. The Goliath series is perhaps the project to draw the most attention, as it includes vessels that live up to that name. The G-Quest Mega Yacht Explorer is a good example in this sense. Introduced earlier this month, the G-Quest is a gargantuan superyacht explorer, a mega yacht, based on size alone, with incredible capabilities, with the most important being that of doubling as a research vessel. This mega yacht is not only about meeting the sky-high demands of a very rich owner, but also about being a testbed for research and experimentation, a floating laboratory, and a marine research vessel. G-Quest is like all good things wrapped in one single package with a giant red bow on it, with the only downside that it doesn't exist. It could at some point in the future, but it would take a lot of money for it to happen. The division between work and play onboard G-Quest would be physical, with the owner and the guests occupying the top three decks, while the others are dedicated to gear, hospital functions, and research. Kozlov estimates the proportions would be of 20% to 80%, but there would be zero compromises in terms of luxury and comfort to the owner's comparatively small chunk of the mega yacht. The owner's suite is 3,000 square feet, 279 square meters, and sits on a private deck with a private pool. Given the size of the vessel, we can assume super yacht standard features like a gym, cinema, and other fancy lounge areas would be included. Renders show three pools and one massive helideck, a gorgeous solarium, shaded and open-air lounge areas, and a beach club, and all of them are blown up to size, to match the size of such an impressive vessel. The interior is not detailed, but the designer notes that the list of features also includes a full bar on the beach club, a crow's nest for uninterrupted views and command and control, a spa area organized around the pool on the flybridge, formal dining and lounge area at the stern, with floor-to-ceiling panoramic windows, and a basketball half-court on the flydeck. Nothing compares with an outdoor workout session, and you know it. 
G-Quest would carry a complete oceanographic laboratory, a medical laboratory with MRI and X-ray imaging, ophthalmology department, and dentist suite, and as many as 20 hospital beds with 5G-connected robotic surgery facilities. It would also have a marine laboratory and enough gear to allow exploration of the most remote areas, whether underwater or on land. The cavernous garages of this mega yacht would carry one U-Works research submarine, six Candela hydrofoil boats, one electric ship to shore landing craft for vehicles and bulk freight, three electric Taiga Orca jet skis, and two SUVs, one of which would be the nimble overland vehicle that Kozlov also designed. A 5,600 square foot, 520 square meter, hangar would house two Sikorsky S-92 VIP helicopters, one EVTOL air limo designed by Kozlov, and several smaller aircraft. Then, the hangar's midships would fit two Cessna caravan seaplanes or, if need be, could be repurposed for experimental propulsion systems that would be tested out at sea. A complete dive center with gear would also be available. Propelled by azimuth thrusters, G-Quest would feature an innovative fully electric propulsion system. It would use various new battery technologies, and also clean fuels, hydrogen, biodiesel and other, green fuels of the future, for the gensets, and a molten salt reactor and a steam turbine to charge the batteries that power the thrusters. Kozlov keeps details here intentionally vague, because the timeline of such a vessel would be in the not so near future, assuming it ever gets commissioned, that is. With all these, G-Quest would have an estimated range of well over 20,000 nautical miles. As for the amount one very rich person would have to pay for G-Quest to make the transition from the virtual page to real life, Kozlov estimates between $1 billion and $1.2 billion. Number 3. Aircraft Carrier for Drones, First in the World On May 19, 2022, China introduced the world's first semi-autonomous unmanned drone carrier. The research vessel, created by Wangpu Wenchong Shipyard, will transport, launch, restore and coordinate more than 50 other autonomous air, surface and underwater vehicles. The ship Zhu Hai Yun belongs to the Southern Laboratory of Marine Science and Technology Guangdong, Zhu Hai, also known as the Southern Ocean Laboratory of Sun Yat-sen University. According to its sponsors, it is designed to help Chinese oceanographers expand their research through the use of unmanned and autonomous vehicles. An unmanned vessel capable of operating independently, 88 meters long, 14 meters wide and 6 meters deep, can be controlled remotely or autonomously move in open waters, as well as create a network for monitoring targets and contribute to maritime security. The developers of the ship tried to make the most of domestic developments, including propulsion, energy systems, surveillance and automation systems. The main goal of the project is the mass deployment of unmanned devices to create a three-dimensional network surveillance system above and below the surface, intelligent and maneuverable stereoscopic ocean surveillance system, covering an area with a diameter of more than 50 nautical miles. Like other civilian maritime autonomy projects, for example, the Sea Wing Glider of the Chinese Academy of Sciences or Yunzhou Tech Roar Drones, this concept may have additional advantages for naval applications. The developer of the ship, the Chinese State Shipbuilding Corporation, the shipbuilding company of the world, does not assume that the cloud will make autonomous maneuvers in ports with busy traffic. Before entering the open sea, it will be controlled by an operator on land. The ship will go offline only where it is safe. The autonomous flotilla of flying and floating drones is able to carry out complex independent missions, including working together to obtain a three-dimensional image of certain targets, the shipbuilding company reports. After completing the tasks, the copters return to the deck, and the boats sail to the ship, waiting for them to be lifted aboard. The construction of the ship began in July 2021, and the sponsors called it a complex project because of its sophistication. The ship will undergo refurbishment next to the pier, and its transfer is expected by the end of 2022. However, in addition to scientific cloud, can carry out combat missions to intercept enemy targets. Number 4. PANGEOS, First in the World Pangeos is a turtle-shaped floating city swimming into Saudi. The Terriot will be the biggest floating structure in the world. Saudi is hopefully getting a turtle-shaped floating city called Pangeos. Get ready for the major under-the-sea vibes. 
The $5 billion Terriot will be the largest floating structure ever built and it will be capable of holding 60,000 people. Pangeos is designed by Italian design studio Lazzarini and gets its name from Pangea, the supercontinent that during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras. Pangeos will effectively be a yacht city with it measuring 610 meters at its widest point. That is one supersized turtle. The turtle-shaped yacht will have villas, shopping and even a beach club. The one-of-a-kind floating city will have 19 villas and 64 apartments located on each turtle foot. You'll be able to enjoy a rooftop garden and even a mall, yes, shoppers you'll be covered. The city will consist of nine bows each divided into various blocks beginning at the entrance of the port leading to the main area that will further extend into the terraced villas paving way to the private houses, buildings and rooftop terraces. It will also house an upper turtle shell zone acting as a landing base for flying vehicles. The future is definitely here. Given that we're speaking about Turtle Superyacht, it is designed to sail around the world stop free, but it has been proposed for Saudi. Additionally, this is a properly green turtle with green energy supplies. Pangeos will draw power from the ocean waves and solar panel roofs. Are you ready to dive in? Pangeos thankfully isn't moving at a tortoise pace. It is estimated that the mega project will be completed within eight years. Number 5. Car Drives on Water Car Boat for $40,000 luxury James Bond-style speedboat shaped like a Corvette that flies across water at 62 miles per hour and feels like a real car. Corvette and 720 body frames have been retrofitted on jet skis driving, or sailing, around Dubai's waterways, making tourists look as cool as James Bond. Since 2021, the original water supercars have been created by Jetcar Dubai, a UAE company that rents boats and jet skis. They were designed by Egyptian designer Karim Amin. The boats are already being offered to everyone for $700 an hour and are selling for $40,000. The boats replicate the 7th generation Corvette and the McLaren 720s. The design of the boats exactly repeats the famous sports models, Chevrolet Corvette C7 and C8, Ferrari 488 and McLaren Elva. The bodies are made from fiberglass. The Ceylon is also made in the spirit of supercars. From a technical point of view, marine supercars are no different from conventional sports boats. The water jet propulsion allows them to accelerate to about 100 km per hour. Since the wheels are fake, the boats are not amphibious and cannot move on land. The creators of the boats are not going to stop there and will soon expand their range. The plans are to create marine copies of Aston Martin, Bentley and Bugatti. Number 6. Performance E801 – Fastest Electric Boat in the World The German builders just introduced their new 26-foot E801 all-electric boat that they say is Die schnellste Powerboat der Welt, the fastest electric boat in the world. In fact, the new E801 tops out at more than 50 knots, at least for some brief bursts. The Performance E801 is driven by an Evoy Hurricane 300 plus kW liquid-cooled inboard electric motor. Evoy already makes the world's most powerful outboard. Evoy says it's the equivalent of 400 HP. The boat has a waterproof 63.1-kWh dual battery pack configuration, working with a Mercury Bravo 1 stern drive. The boat has a range of 21 nanometers at a cruising speed of 25 knots. It weighs 6,172 pounds, with an 8 feet 2 inches beam and a 2 feet 3 inches draft. It's built at the Performance Yard in Italy. All the boat's metrics, including speed, RPM, remaining range, and battery status on displayed on a 10 by 12 inch screen at the helm. A sliding door just on the port side of the helm opens to a cuddy cabin with a V-berth. Performance joined forces with Evoy, a Norwegian firm, two years ago to build the E801. Performance first started building boats as far back as 1985, said Evoy CEO Leif Stavostrand, and the E801 fitted with our 400 horsepower inboard electric motor follows a long line of beautifully made craft from this prestigious, custom boat manufacturer. For the past two years, 
Performance has been owned by SVK Marine Consulting in Ackberg, near Lake Constance, Bowdoin Sea. Its website says the company doesn't build boats that go less than 40 knots. The first models of the new E801 will be ready this spring. They'll cost about $444,000. Thank you for watching the video, subscribe to the channel, there will be many more interesting things.